So in this question, we're bringing together solutions and molds. And when you have a question like this, as I have mentioned in the past, always try and relate the information to the equation given. So what we've got, we've got 25 centimeters cubed of hydrochloric acid, and that's reacted with 1.30 grams of marble chips or calcium carbonate. They're given as the formula here. And so we're going to calculate the concentration of the acid. Now, what we've got is this. We'll write down, we know the maths, M of calcium carbonate was 1.30 grams. We know the volume of HCl of hydrochloric acid was 25 centimeters cubed. So, what we need to do firstly is work out the number of moles of calcium carbonate. We can do that, we've been given a mass and we've been given a formula so we can work that out. So, moles of calcium carbonate, CaCO3, is the mass over the MR. And we know what the mass is, it's 1.30. And the MR, we can work out what the MR is. From the periodic table, we can work out what the masses, mass numbers are. So we know calcium is 40 from the periodic table. We know carbon is 12. We know oxygen is 16. And we've got three of them. So it times it by three. And it's 1.30 over 100. Because that's the sum there of the... Um, molecular of the atomic masses will add it together gives you 100 and that will give you 0.013 moles now that's the moles of calcium carbonate so I'll write that up here 0.013 moles now from the equation you can see that one mole of calcium carbonate of CaCO3 reacts with two moles of HCl so in the reaction, I'll need twice as many moles of calcium carbonate to react completely with that HCl. So the moles of HCl is twice as many moles of calcium carbonate, 0.013, and that gives you 0.026 moles. Okay, so we worked out the moles now of hydrochloric acid of HCl, that's 0.026 moles. Now, we've got the moles of hydrochloric acid, so we can work out the concentration. So, concentration of HCl is the moles, and this is our moles equation, We've got moles to what well, concentration equation where we take our moles and you're dividing it that by the volume. Okay. Now the moles was 0.026. And we divide that by the volume. The volume is 25 centimeters cubed. Now you need to know that if it's in centimeters cubed, you need to convert that to decimeters cubed. So that's 25. Divide that by a thousand, and that will give you. 0.025 de um, decimeters cubed and so we've got that volume there so we divide that by 0.025 decimeters cubed and once you divided them together you end up with a concentration of 1.04 moles per dm cubed and there you go that's the concentration of HCl